Now let's look at how to prevent people from inputting errors into the database table. Suppose there is no class number like 99. But now we can still input the number 99. This is not reasonable because we don't have a class with 99 students in a secondary school in Hong Kong. The way to prevent this or to minimize such errors is to use validation rules. We can set up rules to prevent people to do something like this. Go to the design view of the table. Now suppose I want the class number to be always less than or equal to 40. We can go to the, this validation rule and we can go into the validation builder or the expression builder. So the field name we just input, let's say the field name is uh, number. This means the class number. This should be always less than or equal to 40. So this is the rule, less than or equal to 40. And now I click OK. You can see the rule is added here. We call this the validation rule. Now we can save the table. Great. Yes. If we go back to the student table, now I change the class number from 20 to 99. Access will display a notification that the class number is not valid. We call this validation rule. It should be always less than or equal to 40. But of course, if I input negative 1, this is still okay. So we can proceed. Go to the design view and add another validation rule. The number should be less than or equal to 40. And at the same time, greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Now, the rule has been changed. Number less than or equal to 40. A number greater than or equal to 1. Save this. Now we can go back to the student table. If I now input a let us say negative 3. Yeah. SS will display an error message. Saying that this number is not valid. What about 0? Still not okay. At least we have to input the number 1. So this is one way to design validation rule prevent people from inputting error into the database table.